sitting watching the black and white TV, and I'm three and a half years old, and and we're watching the game of the week, and the announcer says, now batting the next superstar, the switch hitting center fielder from Oklahoma, Mickey Mantle. And I looked at my dad, and I said, you can be from Oklahoma and play in the major leagues? I said, that's what I want to be. Because dad, dad, truthfully, was the, the reason and the impetus for all of it, because he wanted to play baseball. He was a heck of a catcher, everybody tells us, but the war came along, he served two hitches, and never got the opportunity to play. When he came out of the surface, he played some, you know, semi-pro, batted against uh, Satchel Page, and, you know, he could play. And I would go down even on Sundays and watch him play in some of the games down at Anadarko, and, and uh, it was fun. But I, we played home run derby. Uh, that's where I learned to swing for the fences. <music> Things like this today is a great opportunity for anybody out there, not just to watch me, obviously, but there, there's, there's so many, uh, you know, tales to tell. And, and, you know, Al Rosen, I mean, we're gonna do Ralph Kiner. I mean, you won't, I mean, I can't wait for you to do Ralph Kiner, because I mean, he's 90 years old, folks, and, and he's, to his memory, I was with him the other night, his memory is phenomenal. So we, he, he started talking about, he had the first helmet. You know, right. we know that uh, Don Zimmer got bean and they started making him wear it. They gave him a helmet in 1950. I mean, he was telling the story and doing all this stuff. One of his great stories was that he hit, you know, he hit 400, 40 home runs or more like eight or nine years. I don't know what it was, something like. He went up at 380, some 89, 90. And, and uh, he came in to get, a, they sent him a contract for a $2,500 uh, cut and pay. And he went in to see the general manager and he said, you know, I hit 48 home runs. He said, Ralph, we finished last with you. We can finish last without you. <laughs> doctors said, you have the biggest bones I've ever seen. If it hadn't been for that, you would have been broken half.